Hi everyone, how you doing? I hope you're well, every single one of you. Today I'm at the Eden project. This project was opened over 20 years ago. In the first year they had around 20 million visitors, yes. The co-founder of this organization is called Tim Smith and this is the largest indoor rainforest in the world and he got the inspiration from a book called The Lost World. So let's show you more of Eden Project. The Eden Project, the world's largest indoor rainforest. The Eden Project is the 30 acre site near Cornwall that is popular with guests staying at the Longsite Cliff Hotel with visitors from all around the world. The site of Eden Project was formerly a China clay quarry. The quarry had been excavated for over 150 years and was exhausted by the mid-1990s. Construction of the Eden Project began in 1998, having been in the planning stage for around two years. Many obstacles stood in the way, including filling the deeper holes created by years of excavation and then repurposing 80,000 cubic metres of fill to other areas of the site. Despite several setbacks, the visitor centre opened in May 2000 and the Eden project was fully open in March 2001. Viewers, as you can see, the project behind me they've actually used plastic and it's very lightly used and it's like a bubble shape. But it looks absolutely humongous, massive, and you can see there's so much people here and it's a very educational place for people to come. Mm -hmm. So, this is the main entrance uh, to the dome. The left side is the Mediterranean rainforest. Let's go and explore. The Eden Project biomes. The Eden Project biomes is dominated by two enormous domes that have been created to imitate natural biomes. Construction of the domes was a remarkable engineering feat. Combined, they cover in excess of five acres of land, while more than 230 miles of poles were used to create what was at the time the largest birdcage scaffolding in the world. The panels or cells are manufactured from multiple layers of ETFE, which are then sealed and inflated in order to create what is effective large pillow. Last time I went to a rainforest was in Singapore about five years ago, which was called the Garden by the Bay, which was absolutely amazing. So we are at the Eden Project, and with me we have, is it Carla? Yeah. The Eden team. Carla, would you please like to tell us a little bit about the Eden Project itself, please? <laughs> okay, yes, of course. Well, welcome to Eden. We are the Eden Project is a an educational charity which is really trying hard to help people connect to nature and to each other. It's us who look after nature or can do the opposite. So it's very important that you get a chance to feel what it's like to walk through Southeast Asia, through Oceanic Islands, through West Africa, to Malaysia, um, the Amazon, just to feel what it's like and hopefully to fall in love a little bit with this fantastic area of our planet. So that you would want to look That's our aim, just to spark something that makes you want to look after our planet better than we have before. And this is a charity? It's a charity. Yeah. And it's only the first one we have in England? We have, yeah, that's right. Okay. There and it's the largest <laughs> one. It is the largest indoor um, tropical 
biome as well in the world still, which is going to be, of course, bigger when we build the one in China, because we started to help build. They, they build it, but we help them. Yeah. And the last thing I'd like to ask you, yeah. what plant is your favourite? Or my favourite? Oh all my word, that's too hard. I'm not this sure I have a favourite. No, this is, cannot be done. <laughs> I have a favourite area at Eden, which okay. is actually outside. And it's right on the top of the zigzag meandering area, and it's called Wild Corn. And it has, we built an area there that looks like you're 10,000 years ago amongst one of those first old roots with big boulders leading you along. That's my favorite place. <laughs> if I had limited time here, only yeah. around one or two hours, what should I do and what should I put up? I would walk this biome clockwise, clockwise, you get much more out of it, clockwise, come out, stay inside. Again, yeah, clockwise walk of the Mediterranean biome. That would be maybe one and a half hour. If you don't read anything, that will still take you maybe an hour, one and a half. You'll come out and you go to the very far left corner of the site, to the core building, where you see a lot of later science, it's all expressed through um, art and interactive art. It's very beautiful. Carla, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, it was lovely <laughs> speaking to you. Wonderful. Have a great day. Thank you. Oh, you too. Enjoy Cheers. it. <laughs> The rainforest biome is the largest, warmest and arguably the most popular of the two domes. With temperature varying from 18 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius, it is important to wear items of clothing that can be removed to combat the heat and humidity. Like its Mediterranean counterpart, the rainforest biome is home to more than a thousand different species and plants. So the time will fly by as you understand more about the origins of the plants and how important they are to human mankind. The vibrant colours of the display are from all over the world, including Southeast Asia, South America, West Africa and many different tropical islands. So this one's actually a coconut tree, as you can see. And the one here is actually a, in Bangla they call it talgas. So we have a very old kind of a tin barn structure here. So there you can see Papaya.
That's actually the famous uh, bamboo. It's used a lot in Asia, especially in Bangladesh. We have so much of these bamboo trees in Bangladesh. But this place, as soon as I come here and I see it all, it's just so peaceful, so relaxing, so much things to see. It's an amazing place to bring your kids. We used to use a lot of these even in Bangladesh back in the days, probably 30, 40 years ago, when they even served food. Sometimes they used to serve food on these kind of leaves. Because that waterproof, a big, big, massive leaf. So they used to give shinni as well on big leaves like this. So I've done probably about half an hour walk around this area. Now I'm going to do a walk at the Canopy Rainforest. We're going to go all over there and I think the view should be amazing. But as I said before, if you're into this kind of stuff, you love nature, if you're ever in Singapore, you must go to the garden by the bay, which is very similar to this. Actually, it's a lot nicer. It's totally different, it's more bigger as well, but you need to go to that place and there's a lot more to see. Look, here's what I found. Found some bananas on a banana tree. You look there. There's some more papayas.
this just reminds me of Bangladesh. Just looking out. This is really cooling me down, but it's really warm in here. This is the best thing guys, when you come to a place like this, I'm feeling very hungry, very peckish, I thought why not take the advantage, so I just took off some bananas and I'm having it fresh from there. Mm. These bananas are proper nice, they're better than the bananas you buy from Asda, fresh from the tree and ripe. this and look at that fresh from the tree So the tree you can see here. So they're actually guava. All these are guava. So guys, it's been waiting it about half an hour. This is like a mad, massive queue. I hope the wait is worth it. <laughs> Thank you. 
but yeah, they have the same kind of um, walkway area in Singapore. If anyone would like to leave any bags or loose items of clothing. Uh, the metal staircase, when you get to it, is on suspending cables. Those stairs will move a little bit when you're on them. If you don't like it, just head back down. But no phones or cameras are allowed out on those metal stairs because there are gaps between the steps. So save any photo taking to the top of the platform where you've got a safety net beneath you for your belongings. All right, I'll send you up on I'm actually 30 meters high and from here you can see basically everything at a bird's eye view so I'm going to show you what is a rainforest basically rainforest creates rain and rain creates rainforest so it's so important so let me show you a view of all this from here and it's absolutely amazing View. and it's proper warm really warm from here and i think it's time for me to go down and let other people view it because there's so much people waiting here to get on and you definitely need to come here and have a view from here So this place that I'm standing at, this is all the uh, cocoa area, the cocoa trees. So here, as you can see there, so that's where your chocolate comes from. This is all cocoa. Save the rainforest, it's where chocolate comes from. The ancestors of farm cocoa trees grow wild in the South American forest. And that's where we were earlier on. You know what this is? This is aloe vera. That's where you get aloe vera from. More banana trees, that's where I got the banana from earlier on. everywhere and this side was the rainforest side so now we're going to go to the Mediterranean side
The Mediterranean biome is the smaller and cooler of the two, but equally as inspiring with temperatures that fluctuate between 9 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius, it shouldn't feel too different to a pleasant day at home in the United Kingdom. Although it is called the Mediterranean biome, you will also find eye-catching flowers, perfect plants and irritable aromas from as far afield as the United States, Australia and South Africa. The Mediterranean influence definitely dedicates this wonderful space through and you can easily immerse yourself in the beautiful surrounding and believe that you are on a break in Italy, Greece or Spain. If the sight or flourishing olive trees, climb vines and the ambience of citrus fruits wasn't enough, the smell of garlic, basil, wafting from the freshly baked pizzas in the cafe with either put you in a holiday mood or make you hungry or both. With more than a thousand variants of plants, you can easily spend an hour or two wandering through the different areas looking, learning and smelling. As soon as I walked towards this area, I found it a lot cooler. It's a lot nicer to be here. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Doesn't this look pretty guys? Look how nice this tree looks. So beautiful. How nice it is. I'd love to have one of these trees in my garden. Viewers, I'm going to show you something. And this is actually a lemon tree and there's some really large lemons in Bangladesh. We call them Zara Lembu. I actually have plants and trees of Zara Lembu in Bangladesh and these get to about this big so let me show how big it looks This is my den guys, this is where I'm going to just chill and relax for the rest of the afternoon.
So when you take your family, children, you don't need to worry about one thing because they have a awesome play area. They have a nice eatery and the toilets are very clean. There's a lot to do. One thing about this with the parking is a bit of a nonsense because they don't actually have car park one, two, three, four, five. It's names of like Claw, Lime, Banana and they're all over the place. And it's hard to find it because they're not even signposted properly. Viewers, I have four tickets for you guys. So I want you guys to comment below. Let me know where you're from or send me an email. And the lucky four that I choose, I'm gonna give you these four free tickets. So you will be having an annual pass, you could come here many times as you want. And I want you all to subscribe, share, comment. And I'm going to choose a few people. Obviously I live in Sheffield, but I could um, post it out here, or I could send a picture and give it to you and then you could use it. So comment below, let me know. If you want to come to Eden Project, I have purchased four tickets and I have one year use it. So I thought why not do something for you guys. So uh, viewers, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I've showed you much as I can and I think and I highly recommend you guys to come here yourself to Eden Project for maybe the full day and have a tour of it. So I basically paid 37 pounds each to have a look at this project and to tell you the truth you need a full day you can't do it in a half day you need a full day but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next video